In the marine shipping business, staying safe is the most important aspect of our jobs. It means getting a handle on the situations that may result in accidents. It means changing the way we think about safety and giving us the tools to stay out of harm's way. Fortunately, tools such as the pre-incident notification or PINS program can help. The fact is, all of us want to end the workday the way it started, safe and secure. But that's not always the case. Too often, the harmless oversight of an unsafe condition leads to an accident or life-threatening situation. Sometimes these unsafe conditions are obvious. Other times, they are small details that get overlooked in the rush to get the job done. Unfortunately, those minor situations have the potential to become hazardous ones. That's why Innovene encourages a process of reporting conditions before they become dangerous and threaten your health, safety, and the well-being of those who follow you. We call these unsafe acts or conditions PINs, or pre-incident indicators. In the next few minutes, we'll tell you how to identify PINs and the steps you should take to report them. There's no paperwork and no forms to complete. Just one phone call from your vessel or terminal is all it takes to prevent a serious injury or fatality. By reporting PINs, you begin a process of risk recognition that corrects unsafe acts and conditions. The correction of a PIN is a protective action that allows us to avoid injuries by something witnessed by others and not allowed to persist. The appearance of a pre-incident indicator is a sign that the risk for an actual incident has increased. For this reason, PIN reporting is followed by immediate intervention, a key element of Innovene's PIN process. This intervention reduces the risk of an incident involving you or anyone working with you. Some pins occur during cargo tank inspection and product transfer operations. Many can be taken care of immediately without the need for reporting, such as these depicted during the following reenactments of a transfer operation. Hello, Chief. Uh, told me it's, um, I'm afraid we'll have to uh, delay the loading of this cargo. Why? We're already far behind the schedule. Our high-level alarm on this tank is broken again, and we'll have to fix it. But why don't we start loading? We know our tank capacity, and we stop the show, and we have the exact quantity. I don't want to take the chance. We have to fix it. We wait, we fix the high-level alarm, and then we can start loading. Okay, Chief, up to you. Hey, 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 tankerman, tankerman. What's going on? You need to get off? Yes, sir. Well, head on down to the gangway and we'll lower down. You don't need to be jumping down on this thing. Go on down this way. We're ready to start loading. Did you pressure test your lines with the nitrogen? Uh, no, we didn't do it. Why not? Because we never do that and moreover, we never had any leak on board. Yeah, but uh, every leak can be considered uh, dangerous, you know, and small leak can lead uh, to a big one and uh, we cannot allow for that. We take our time, we pressure test, and then we can start loading. Okay, Chief. <laughs> Hello, Leon. I'm here to check the safety procedures for loading cargo into this tank, just to make sure everything goes smoothly. I think we've got everything under control. I have here an enclosed space entry permit, where everything is checked, yes, but you are still testing the oxygen. Well, I've got nothing to do with that, and we've never done it this way in the past. Let's go to check with Chief Mate what he has to say about this. Hey, Dom. What you doing? Hey, hey, what's going on, Ray? I'm getting a sample here. Getting a sample? Oh, Donald, I'm doing a safety inspection right now, man. You need to wear that respirator when you're doing it. Oh, it, it's right there, but it fogs up. It, I don't like it. You know, you're taking a chance here, man. You got a choice. You can either deal with the inconvenience of that respirator being fogged for a little while, or get yourself blinded, scar yourself for life. You're right. Come over and um, sit. What are we doing here, man? 
We are having a preloading conference. Why? Well, I got those tanks inspected and they're a mess, man. Why would we even have to have this meeting? Well, the reason for this meeting is where everyone goes over the plan for the transfer operation. Unless everyone knows what's going on, we run the risk of missing a problem somewhere. Yeah, we have to make sure that we, uh, we have um, the ship-to-shore communication is in place. Um, we want to know what uh, PPE to be used for each parcel we are handling. Um, I will need from you the um, specific gravity. We have to establish the quantities we will load. We certainly don't want to overflow any tanks. We don't want to short load them. Well, since you mentioned PPE, we're out of canisters for the respirators. Okay, now you know why we are having this meeting. When you detect a pin, contact the Crisis Management Center, whether you're on a barge, a ship, or at an Innovene plant or customer location. It's a toll-free number located on the bottom of the voyage orders. The center is staffed seven days a week, 24 hours a day. These call center operators are ready to record your pin observation. When you call the center, one of the crisis management representatives will complete a brief report to help us understand the nature of your observed PIN. Let's take a look at a successful PIN identification. Hello, I'm the chief mate on the ship Stolt Innovation and I'd like to report a PIN. I have a form here which I need to fill out to properly report this PIN. Do you have a few minutes? Thank you. We are trying to get the pre-transfer meeting going, but we don't have a copy of the voyage orders. We can't get started with our loading operation until we get a copy. Thank you. I have a few more questions for you then. Who... Our policy of identifying pre-incident indicators has the full support of our barge and ship operators. Barge or ship crew may determine that a loading or unloading operation involves substantial risk, leading to an injury or an environmental upset. If these risks are observed and reported as pins, Innovene supports the decisions of the operators, who may refuse to complete product transfer operations due to unsafe conditions or actions. Our mission is to create a culture of accident prevention, where barge and ship crew report pre-incident indicators as they work to safely deliver our products. But remember, the PIN system only works if you are capable of identifying unsafe conditions. Stay alert at all times. Take a second to assess a situation before you dive right into it. Do I have the right tools? Do I have the right protection? What could go wrong here? Think before you act. If you think through your actions and then carry them out in a thoughtful way, you will consistently identify and avoid dangerous situations. By telling us about these situations, you can help prevent someone else from encountering them in the future. All of us who have the goal of making our petrochemical product delivery process a safe one, Thank you for your participation in our pre-incident indicator program. We look forward to a safe working relationship that improves the quality of our lives, whether it's at work or outside of work. With your help, we can steer toward a safe future for all of us.